welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm delighted to have you here with us. Today is Monday, March 27th. We're reflecting on the fifth Sunday in Lent. Now let's observe a moment of silence to center our minds and hearts. Let's pray. Almighty God, your Son came into the world to free us all from sin and death. Breathe upon us the power of your Spirit, that we may be raised to new life in Christ and serve you in righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20. On the first day of the week, when we met to break bread, Paul began to speak to the people, and because he intended to leave the next day, he extended his message until midnight. Now there were many lamps in the upstairs room where we were meeting. A young man named Eutychus, who was sitting in the window, was sinking into a deep sleep while Paul continued to speak for a long time. Fast asleep, he fell down from the third story and was picked up dead. But Paul went down, threw himself on the young man, put his arms around him and said, do not be distressed for he is still alive. Then Paul went back upstairs and after he had broken bread and eaten, he talked with them a long time until dawn. Then he left. They took the boy home alive and were greatly comforted. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. And I just have to say, I love that story of Paul preaching a young man to death because he was so long-winded. And then he raises him and talks for another six hours. So now that we have been refreshed by God's word, let's take a moment to center ourselves in prayer. If you feel inclined, I invite you to join me in praying out loud. There's great value in lifting our voices in unison to the Lord. Thanks to technology, we can connect and be unified in the power of the Spirit, despite the physical distance between us. With that in mind, let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving health again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, 
and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. In penitence and faith, let us make our prayer to the Father and ask for his mercy and grace. For your holy people, that they may triumph over evil and grow in grace, we pray to you, O Lord. Have mercy. For candidates for baptism and confirmation, that they may live by every word that proceeds from your mouth, we pray to you, O Lord. Have mercy. For the sick in body, mind, and spirit, that they may know your power to heal, we pray to you, O Lord. Have mercy. For the poor in spirit, that they may inherit the kingdom of heaven and see you face to face, we pray to you, O Lord. Have mercy. Let us commend the world for which Christ suffered to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That concludes our time together. Thank you for taking a few moments to join us today, and we hope it's been a blessing for you. If you enjoyed this video, show us your support by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your loved ones. We also invite you to visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org, where you can learn more about our ministry and make a donation to support our work. Thank you for your generosity and for being a part of our life together. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.